Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about what is the best client to be using when having a massive amount of torrents. I'm talking about 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, so on, that many torrents in one client. So straight away we've got uTorrent. Now I've heard of people going all the way up to 7000 in uTorrent and then they start looking for other clients. So it's pretty good but there are a lot of other downfalls so check out my, my review on uTorrent to, to decide whether or not you want this as uh, your client. Next we've got QubitTorrent. Now QubitTorrent is my default one. I use it as my main one but in my main one I don't use thousands of torrents in this. I have a secondary one which I use thousands of torrents in. So the reason why I have two is because Qubit Torrent is my default one. I don't want to change it. I love Qubit Torrent, but it is not very good at handling over 1,600 torrents at one time. In fact, if you have around about one, maybe 200 in one tab, and you're selecting a lot it will start to lag out. Also when you do have over 1600 the tracker doesn't register all those torrents. This is because it uses libtorrent. Now I don't know a lot about libtorrent but it's something to do with the technical stuff on how the client transfers the data and uh, reads the data. Now we've got Deluge. Deluge is also like Qubit Torrent. It uses LibTorrent, but you can actually uh, get a plugin. This is the plugin. It's called itconfig. You can download it on their web page in the plugins. Once you've installed it and you've enabled it in the uh, in the plugins page, you should get the uh, the option right here and this will tell you all the settings of libtorrent I'm not 100% sure that I'm saying that right I believe I am as you can see there is quite a few different ones and most people won't know what all these options are so you can just click uh, the internal settings and then change it to high performance speed and then click load preset and as you can see it changed a lot of the stuff there's also a minimum memory usage, but I won't recommend that. So, because this uses libtorrent, it will start to uh, start to have a problem after 1,600 torrents. That's because of this option right here. You can change it, and when you change it onto high performance speed, it changes from uh, 1,600 to 2,000. So after 2,000 torrents it will start to have a little bit of a problem. You uh, you can change this number to even higher. I've heard of people going all the way up to, I think it was 4,000 torrents in uh, Deluge before they had problems. So Deluge is quite nice. And lastly is RUTorrent or RTorrent. Now this client is a Linux only client so I can't install it so I can't comment too much on this but from what I've heard it's a very good client and it can handle up to 10,000 torrents but I do believe it is a web based uh, only client so you need to access it via the web instead of you know uh, program that you install, but you still will need to install it and uh, it becomes uh, command based but then you access it through the web but people could correct me on that because I haven't used it myself and that's it uh, do check out the reviews on all these clients I don't have a review for rtorrent or rutorrent because like I said I can't install them I'm on Windows, not Linux. Um, that's it.
thanks for watching. Stay safe. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos. They're all to do with torrents. Have a good one.